Laura just recently shared on the channel her top five songs from the year 2003. So I'm going to do the same thing right now. So coming up today, my top five songs from 2003 coming right up. Hey, I'm Ross from the Infectious Group Podcast and right here on YouTube. And as I said in Lauren's video, 2003 is now 20 years ago, which I don't like at all, but I do love a lot of music from that year. So I'm going to share, honestly, these are my top five songs from that year. The first song that I'm going to share is an artist. It's a duet by uh, an artist and the person doing the duet that you don't hear me talk a lot about on the channel because uh, we try and keep things positive and I'm not really a big fan of either of these folks. Uh, but this one song I love a great deal and that is Picture by Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow. It's from Kid Rock's second record. And again, I'm not really a big fan of a lot of what he does and I'm not really a big fan of a lot of what she does. Uh, but that song, the moment I heard it, I was like, this is a great song and it stuck with me. It's a song that I listen to regularly, uh, still now 20 years later. The next one is one that uh, not only was huge for me because I was a huge fan of the band at the time, but it's become a worldwide thing since then. And this is one that's kind of one of those that I can't believe is already 20 years old. And that's Seven Nation Army from the White Stripes uh, album Elephant. This is a song that I loved the first time I heard it, like I'm sure many people do. But when I heard it first, if you would have asked me, you know, if this would become a worldwide thing where people in uh, sports stadiums across the world would be doing the chant from this 20 years later, I would have been like, I, why? Like, why, why would that catch on? But it did. It's just something that's a part of uh, culture now, which is amazing and awesome. So that's definitely a favorite of mine. Uh, the next one is a song from a band that uh, this is one of those ones that when I first heard Matchbox 20's third album, uh, I, the first thing I said was, oh, I hope this song is a single one day because I've wanted everybody else to love the song as much as I did. Uh, and that's Unwell from uh, Matchbox third album, More Than You Think You Are. Uh, I already loved the song as it was. And uh, at the time, the record store that I worked at, it was a really big hit with like uh, before it was a single, we would play it in store. And I was really surprised at the amount of uh, diversity in people that would come up and say, oh, who is this? I love this song, you know, and we sold a ton of copies of the record before it was even a big single. The next one is another one that is kind of like the same. Wow, I can't believe this is 20 years old, but uh, is the first single I ever heard from Kelly Clarkson, Miss Independent. Uh, I did not at all watch anything to do with the first season of American Idol. It just wasn't something I was into. So I didn't know anything about her at all. And again, working at the record store, I remember suddenly everybody saying, oh, oh, oh this Kelly Clarkson album's out. I'm like, who is that? You know, and people told me it was from, uh, she was from American Idol. And I really didn't expect much, but man, do I love that song. That's a perfect pop song. And it shows right on her first single what she would be capable of throughout her whole career lyrically. Uh, the last one on my list is a song I would bet most people watching this video have even forgot about. But it's definitely one of my favorite songs of that year, 2003. Uh, the band Train from their album, My Private Nation. Uh, the the lead single off of that record was called Calling All Angels. And I like the song as much or more than what they're remembered for, which is Drops of Jupiter from the record before that. And, uh, you know, it's what Train is known for. They're a pop rock band. It's a slick production, uh, you know, very radio friendly rock. But uh, I just love the song. And if you get a chance, uh, I, we always put the links to the descriptions for the songs uh, in, in the description below, rather, so you can hit the link and listen to the songs. Uh, but if you can bring the song up on streaming and listen to it from uh, the album, because uh, it, there's a slightly longer version of it that's on the record. That's a great version of the song to hear. So those are my top five songs from 2003. You, If you're not already exhausted from having uh, commented on Lauren's video about her favorite songs from 2003. Uh, drop me a couple comments below. Let me know what some more of your favorite songs are from the year or what you think of my picks. Make sure to drop us a like on the video if at all possible. Make sure you're subscribed, so on and so forth. And as we always say in these videos, thank you so much for watching.